All right. My name is Adam Taylor, and I've lived a very sinful life. Growing up as a child was a challenge for me. I felt I never fit in with my family, and I dealt with what I would describe as a turbulent youth. I never learned how to deal with these emotions, so I began to retreat within myself. <laughs> Navigating these emotions were impossible for me, so I began to live empty, and in that emptiness, I found a home. And as years progressed, I nurtured the emptiness, which now is transformed to darkness in the absence of God, and I loved it. I didn't want to just shake hands with this darkness. I wanted to bathe in it. I wanted it to live in me as I wanted to live in it. It was my castle. In my early teens, I was introduced to drugs and alcohol, which then became my companion and chaperoned my life, which lasted for years. Whenever I felt stressed or overwhelmed, I would retreat into my castle of emptiness and alcohol where I'd feel safe, secure, and at home. Destruction following me was inevitable. And in, two <laughs> and in 2009, I was drinking with my best and only friend, Quest, who I buried the following year. He was 24. I have no memory of leaving his house, and I woke up in the hospital, hooked to machines with my legs in surgical casts. I ended up crashing head on into a woman, and at that time they weren't sure she would survive. <laughs> Luckily she survived, but the damage was done, and I'm still dealing with the physical repercussions to this day, as I know she is as well. Sobriety soon came, over the five years, sobriety was gone. My castle of emptiness called and I was all but too eager to answer. I did manage to get sober around 2018, 2019, but being sober didn't change my thirst for the darkness. That was a fixed point in my life. This past November, my wife Sarah went to visit her brother for a few weeks out of state. While home, I consume my normal entertainment, which consumed pretty much of horror. Horror has been a complete constant through my life. The darker, the better. Anything to do with God made me anxious and uncomfortable, so I stayed clear of any entertainment pertaining to God or Jesus. Strangely, the show The Chosen kept popping up on my recommended list, which everything on my recommended list was horror, so I assumed it was a horror show, but it's not. As I started the show, it felt strange to watch, but it wasn't bad, so I used it as a background as I did things throughout my room. I got to a part of the show when a character backslides and is apprehensive when it comes to returning to Jesus. Excuse me. As Jesus and this character spoke, I found myself transfixed with what was taking place. Jesus assured this character that <clears throat> she was forgiven and he embraced her and said, it's over. When he said it's over, I felt all the emptiness, the nothingness, the darkness just leave my body. And I went from feeling nothing to feeling everything. And I began to cry. A few hours later, I felt I needed a Bible, which was a complete foreign feeling. I asked my mother about a Bible, and without hesitation, she bought it for me. I wasn't sure where to start, so I began in Matthew. I read for about 10 minutes, and I put it down. Once I put it down, I felt I needed to pick it back up, so I did. The same thing happened. I read for about 10 minutes, and I put it down. And again, once I put it down, I felt I needed to pick it back up. So I realized there was something God wanted me to see. So I decided to read until I found it. I arrived at Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Come to me all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. At that moment, everything changed and I wept. My brain rewired and I realized that all my interests were no longer my interest. 
things like horror, certain kinds of movies, horror fashion, and certain music that I listened to, I had no desire for it. It was like I had been asleep for 30 years, and I woke up starving. And all I wanted to do was consume the Bible and Christian literature. On that day in my room, Jesus made himself known to me. He picked up a weeping broken man and said, follow me. For once you have a true, honest experience with the Holy Spirit, the denial of God is impossible. I went from emptiness to peace, depression to joy, and hate to love. I went from wanting nothing to do with God to craving his presence. And all this changed in just a matter of seconds. So tell me God is not all powerful. Pastor Rick has been preaching about the one, and I've been a one to a woman. I've been a one to a woman for a very long time. And through, through my deepest lows, her prayers never wavered. There is no other one I'd rather be than my mother's, Kathy Faulkner. My name is Adam Taylor, and I am forgiven, redeemed, and born again through the grace and love of Jesus Christ. Thank you.